Andrew's just gonna get off. And I think you're gonna have to do a campaign of shame. So who gonna burn the bridge next? I also kind of wanted to ask about, is it Kick the team that's really responsive to you or is that Rumble? Um, Right now I'd say probably Rumble more. Kick is pretty responsive though, but Rumble is definitely trying really, really, really hard. Um, and they've got like a ton of stuff in place already. Like they've been working pretty hard on getting their shit lined up. For the moderator thing, do you think they were already working on that before you asked about it and that's why it was so quick? Or do you think they really like spun that up and developed it and launched it like after you asked about it? Um, no clue. Could have been either. I don't really have a way to know one way or another. I could probably ask Chris and you tell me, but um, there's probably been some work. Like they obviously they've drafted like other streamers and stuff. But um, I'm kind of unique in terms of like being an actual streamer, whereas everyone else they have is like new shows and stuff. So the moderation pr uh, demands that I have might be unique compared to like Russell Brand or like people doing shows and stuff, you know? Mm. And out of curiosity, I don't even know if you can share these details, but like who are you in regular contact with at the company? Is it like product people or like the CEO or do you have some person that represents you there that handles like creators or like how is that structured? Uh, I think for Rumble, I'm pretty sure it's the CEO, the Chris guy that shows up in Rumble chat and stuff. I think it's the CEO. For Kick, I think it's a like talent manager, project manager guy, I think. Okay, interesting. Damn, well, that might be why you get stuff so quick. <laughs> sure, but I mean, it also shows willingness for them to like work too. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Chris guy, I think, meets with a lot of talent. Like, I think he's met with like Sneeko and stuff before too. Um, Cause I think he feels obviously pretty, pa well, I would hope as a fucking CEO of the company, he feels like really passionate about um, Rumble and what he wants to do with it and everything, so. In negotiations, did they know about each other? No, <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I negotiated a time I wanted to stream on each platform and then yeah, we'll see how that works, but. You know what? Everybody else in business tries to screw creators on, all I'm, the time. I'm not screwing uh, anybody over. Listen, I agreed to... No, not, not to say, of course, know. you know. I would okay. say it benefits both of them. You yeah, know? true. And it also gives me a point of comparison for both platforms, too. So, like, assuming I'm being diplomatic, like, I can always say, like, oh, for Kick, like, Kick is nice because, you know, they emulate, like, Twitch culture a bit better than Rumble does. That's a cool thing for Kick. And then for Rumble, I can say, like, oh, well, in terms of, like, features on the platform and access to, like, advertisements and making money or whatever, Rumble might be a little bit better set up than Kick. Like, I can talk about, like, pros and cons to each platform. And hopefully, depending on how responsive they are, like, you have the ability to improve on both platforms as well. Which Rumble now, seems like you really keen on. Sorry, go. Uh, you mentioned ad delivery was really good on one of those. What kinds of ads are they getting? Are they like different than Twitch ads? Yeah, I think they're definitely like in the conservative ad space. Um, but I mean, like the fact that they have any at all, I think is impressive um, because I don't think Kick has any of their ad network built out yet. Oh, and also the big thing for Rumble too is that like Rumble runs all of its own shit. This is such a thing that nobody really cares about because it's not like a sexy talking point, but it was actually the reason why Twitch won over other platforms like owned back in the day. As yes, I think Rumble has built out all of their data infrastructure. They do all the video and content delivery on their own servers and shit. They don't rely on like Amazon or the T the Twitch video TVS, I think Twitch video services or whatever. Like they don't rely on any of that shit. They do all of it um, on their own, which is pretty impressive. That's a really, really, really big feat. What would you say to the people who have a response along the lines of like, if AWS fails or is compromised, then like the whole internet is doomed? No, I don't think, I think the internet is pretty responsive. I think we can figure new shit out. Okay, okay. So then you you take it as a real chance that like there could be something fucky with AWS that could compromise like a platform built. I'm not worried about it. something fucky with AWS. I just, I always think it's better to have like multiple platforms like working in the space. Hmm. Like, I think, like, right now, as lame as it is to say, I do think the moderation policies are actually fucking with some of these platforms right now, like, in really negative ways. Whereas before, it was just like, oh, like, they're banning too many people. I think now they are banning too many people. I think Twitch has had big issues with this um, relating to, like, the WL community. And I think YouTube has big issues with this relating to censoring, like, politically bad content. So stuff related to COVID stuff. Like, I've hit two big strikes on my channel that I had to, like, beg on Twitter to get revoked for covering vaccine stuff. Um, yeah, so. Damn. I think it is. I think it actually is problematic right now, and YouTube needs to figure their shit out better over it. Although, you know, I, in this new frontier, I feel like it's problematic in the other direction, too. Yeah, I see Trainwreck struggling, and his company kind of struggling with, like, 
where is the line on the other side? Because Aiden is consistently showing that it exists and he's over it. And now we got to draw it and we got to figure out what happens to people that cross it. And uh, I feel like that's like a whole struggle into itself as well. Well, that's true. I mean, they're a new platform. Like, I'll give them time to figure that out. Right? I'm not going to sit here and shit on Kick for not having their moderation shit 100 ironed out. 100% ironed out when they're like on fucking what month what for their thing existing like they're still new to the game so I, I, I'll be like a little lenient but I do agree well, yeah. they are gonna have to figure it out and I also feel bad because I actually do I used to think that like Train was kind of like a signaler that he said some shit but he didn't really mean it but now I actually I, the more that I listen to him or maybe he's just grown and matured a bit I do actually think he's a bit more sincere than I initially thought and I do think that Train is a bit more like, we should be able to kind of like be bros and chill and hang around and it can be fun. And then he sees other people that actually f with that in really bad ways and then it's frustrating for him because it makes him look bad, right? Train is, I imagine when Train's like, we should be able to do whatever we want, it'd be awesome. He wasn't actually thinking that somebody would go and kick and stream fucking porn. That probably wasn't what he was thinking. And then when he sees that, my guess is gonna be is that he gets pretty frustrated because now he looks like he was advocating for that the entire time. Because that's what a lot of people were saying. That's what I said, I think a long time ago. I was like, can't, can't, Train just wants to be racist and do all this crazy shit. But I, I don't think he does actually. I think he just wanted a place to like chill and be cool. But now you've got people that are like abusing that a lot. And it's probably really frustrating for him to deal with it was sad to see him have to like plead with aiden like i i like the tone of it was very much like bro please come on but like let's set this shit aside you know that like you can't do x and y and z right because like mm -hmm. you can't keep doing this uh, i feel like i could be wrong but i feel like aiden is on a big downswing um, he's like sneakoing himself. Like he just, he's starting fights with everybody. He's being way too extreme for no fucking reason. Um, I don't know if it's because his dad is in jail or no, I guess he just got on a house arrest. And so he doesn't have like a guiding principle on his fucking stream right now. But Jesus, um, bro. yeah, I feel like, um, sorry, I'm talking about Andrew Tate. Um, I, I feel like, oh, um, okay. yeah, I feel like, um, <laughs> I, I, I feel like he just is he's just like lost. He's going like way too hard because he just doesn't have yeah, he's like he's young, he made a ton of money, like his mind is probably pretty fucked. Yeah, yeah, it's it's contagious. It's rocking through these uh these little dudes. Eh, I, like I have a bad feeling Andrew's just gonna get off. And I think you're gonna have to do a campaign of shame after that. Why? Like, I've maintained what? the same position the whole fucking time. You wait till the process plays but itself out. What the That's fuck? not how people feel. That's fine, right? but then I'll say, let's go back, facts over feelings, play the fucking footage of shit I've said. I feel like I've qualified this every single fucking time. Yeah, but they don't care about that. Like, like I'm thinking about that really manly guy that you talk to who has like a beautiful voice. You know who I'm talking about? Which one? He, he wears a suit when the he talks Adam to Sosnick you. Adam guy? Yeah, maybe him. Okay. Um, like, I feel like he'd be like, sure, Destiny. Yeah, I, I, I know you probably said it in a very nice way and you like orchestrated your words and whatever. But I think we know that the general impression that you gave is they got this guy dead to rights. He, he admitted to all this stuff. You believed him. And I said, I said, wait till it comes out. And I said it was a joke. And I said it's probably not that serious. But you were very convinced. Saying, I think the thing that complicates this the thing that makes this like a very complicated issue is that um, is that a lot of these guys don't actually believe that sex trafficking is real. <laughs> That's the thing that like overcomplicates the f of all of this. Because here's the problem: if Andrew Tate, if he did do everything that he says he did in those videos, he should come. He should fall for trafficking because that's that's what it is. It's described 100. percent So the only way he gets off is if they either can't find evidence of it, or if he just lied. If he just made all that shit up, and he's like, oh, like that's a character I play, right? But the problem is, is if he did do everything in those videos, and if he does get charged with it, a lot of people look at even what he did, and they don't think that those are real crimes. That's the thing that complicates this a lot more. It's not like so cut and dried. Mm. There's a lot of people that are gonna see it, and like, yeah. Because because when I say that statement, like, well, if he did everything he said in those videos, I mean, he's a fucking sex trafficker. A lot of people are like, no, that's not trafficking. Because in their mind, sex trafficking is only like, you're held at gunpoint against your will the entire time, and you can't escape the facility. Like, they, they've seen like taken, and that's their idea of sex trafficking. And for a lot of these guys, it's verbatim, that is what they say. They're like, oh, well, the girl's ever held at gunpoint? Show me a gun. And if there's no gun, they're like, oh, well, then it was all on the up and up. So it's, it, that also complicates things. But I mean, like, I don't know what to say at that point. Like, I think ain't nobody got a 
an opinion on sex trafficking. Nobody really had any kind of opinion or belief about that shit until it's in the context of like some dude. True. Like, uh, it, but then what do you do? You look it up and you see, well, what is it? And then you get an opinion on it, right? You inform yeah, yourself. Yeah, but they, that's not what they care about. They don't care about sex trafficking. They care about he didn't do that. Um, you know? Yeah. Or they he didn't do like, what? He didn't do sex trafficking the bad word or he didn't actually do what sex trafficking is uh if a then b i think is where their brain goes well yeah because like if you if you if you told a girl that you were going to marry her and that you guys wanted to get rich together and then you brought her to another country to do sex work that is sex trafficking it's done. boom done that's it but a lot of people what i just said right there they wouldn't consider that anything bad they wouldn't even consider that bad they said oh well she came she was an adult it was her own free will and she you know she came and that's fine and they'd be like oh boom and then that's like the end of the conversation so it's kind of a it's like a weird world to be in because like okay well i've described sex trafficking as la it's laid out legally you agree that he did sex trafficking as it's laid out legally you just don't think that should be illegal which is like a weird i don't know even how to have that argument that's like a weird argument to have you know yeah i i almost feel like there's some secret strat like what you did with the ladies in in one of your youtube shorts where you asked them in your ideal world would you just not have porn <laughs> there has to be some question that you could ask them that like resolves all this like like if your son did all the things that tate was describing made all these videos like i don't know i, I feel i'd feel pretty bad about i mean that. but the problem is like they like discourage him Especially for the red pill guys where they're at now, they live in such a fantasy world that they'll bite insane bullets. Like, I think I even asked Sneeko that. Like, would you let your daughter date Andrew Tate? And he said, yes. And I'm like, fuck me, dude. You're like, you're such a 24 year old. Like, I don't know what the fuck could possibly say to you. The answer is obviously no. You would never want your daughter to be with such a fuck boy. Um, but yeah, but that's because he Grifton. That's not a good example. Is he? I, like. I don't know. I think he's just young. I think he's just a young man. <laughs> Yeah, you have to say that because uh, you know it's like a kick deal. I feel like you're investing. Why do I have to say way. that? What? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like sometimes you like fall in love with people in a weird way. Hold on, you feel like the I'm need sorry. To maybe I'm them, being but misunderstood. You secretly know. Wait, maybe I'm being misunderstood. That's not a defense of his character. That's an indictment on his character. He's a stupid fucking child. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying like, oh, he's young and pure and blah blah. No, he's retarded. But he's probably fucking yeah, but retarded because no, he's young. No, you don't think he's retarded you think he's super duper smart i think he has the capacity to be smart i think right now he's acting retarded is that okay or there you go okay, yeah there you go but, but i think that's, that's what true. i'm but saying you disagree like with the that? core of it you have this like deeply held belief that he's this like great dude i think he's and a smart so, i don't know if he's a great dude but he's a smart guy I, you watch his old videos he's an introspective dude there's a reason why he was so popular like and it's not because he i did think this he weird... makes good videos but you don't you don't give this same thing to any of the other video essayists that like excuse all their other behavior because their videos are actually pretty good like you kind of only do it with him well like i think you like him a little bit i don't even know what it, what example would that be i i feel like you don't say these same things for instance about the bisexual mustache fella even no, if like uh, samson lately, or whatever yeah like you've not been fighting about a lot of his videos but you well, don't he doesn't he's not say saying anything nice like yeah but like the, it's a different type of content that they make right he's not like saying like cool insightful things in his videos it's just like progressive dogma which there's nothing wrong with but it's just like oh like here's a noah samson video he's gonna talk to us about yeah, what progressives think today and i was like okay his shit's all right wing stuff if anything that's worse that's like more boring like um, they're like kind of similar I, I think I'd be judging Sneeko differently if he was just doing political videos, but he, he does like lifestyles, like a different brand of content, I think. He's not, he, it's not yeah. like we're gonna watch like uh, Sneeko today for his takes on politics, although it gets political, but it's just because the Matrix obviously involves everything. Well, yeah, because leftists talk about things that aren't real, so you mm -hmm. can't like map that onto a lived experience. But it might be the case Usually that like they if- Usually um, things that aren't real. It might be the case that like if Samson had done like dramatically different styles of content. Oh, actually, you know what? I would say, for an example, I would say actually Vosh uh, would fit the bill here. I think I've said multiple times, yeah. people ask me like, oh, like, what do you think about like Hassan and Vosh? I think I almost always say like, I think Vosh is way smarter than Hassan, um, which in some ways is where I, I come down on him harder is because like, I know the type of, co of content that Vosh can make. I know that he's intelligent enough to like do good videos and have like his own unique thought process. And he did that in the past, but he like doesn't now. He just like toes like kind of a more extremist line, which is kind of sad. But I think, I think I've said that about Vosh like multiple times. Yeah, and I would say he's he's one of these people. Mr. Girl was for a bit, and then you, or he was getting there, and then you cut him off. I feel like, but yeah. that was another one where like you're sitting on all this shit the same way you were saying other people sit on shit and they stew on it or they don't bring it up or whatever, and then it comes out like 
Like you knew that that relationship he has with Shaylin is fucky as fuck. And like well, you're trying not, to not go not, super into it, but not. But. No, hold on, don't say I'm trying. This okay. This will trigger me. Ready? You're triggering me. <laughs> you're the <laughs> white blood cells. When you say I my mental go, idea used yeah. different. <laughs> if you want to say, if you want to say, Stephen, I think you're f-ing retarded for how you view these people. That's fine. But if you want to say, I think you're not going into it to try to preserve a relationship, that's not true. I'll, I'll burn whatever the fuck about, I'll, like, I'll speak my thoughts. Like, I'll tell you bad things about Kick and Rumble. They're both paying me huge contracts. Like, it's not like I'm not going to say something because I'm afraid of it. If I'm wrong about something, I'm just wrong about something. It's not because I'm, like, scared to, like, utter the facts of the matter or whatever. Um, for, yeah, but um, I won't say that because I don't believe that. <laughs> okay, you actually think I'm... <laughs> Wait, so what do I have to, what did I have to gain from, like, Mr. Girl? Or what do you, walk me through this thought process. I'm curious. So you say, premise mm-hmm. A, you find these people interesting, For these sure. and weirdos, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. So you're going to try to keep them and cook them as long as you possibly can. Wait, 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 is this what I say I possible. do or is this what you think I'm doing? I'm just running through my thought process. Okay, you know, for what you think, think differently. Okay, no, no, that's yeah. not. I'm just curious if you think this is what I state or this is what you think I'm doing secretly. Okay, gotcha. Go ahead. Nah, and I don't think it's super secret. I think it happens on stream. Mm-hmm. I think Mr. Girl cues onto it a little bit, but then he has this warped dementia brain that like doesn't process it properly. Um, but I, I do. I think you attract these people, and sometimes you see something in them where mm-hmm. you're like, you could be big. You have such an interesting perspective, and you have like an interesting little alien living in your brain that's like can produce such cool stuff. And I want to keep that around and like preserve that. So like, you know, if people are gonna mention stuff that's bad about you, I'm going to defend you, or I'm going to try to give you the benefit of the doubt. And uh, you know, if I have something, some criticism of you, I'm not going to say it super harsh. Like you gave examples with. Brittany Simon where you're like I could say something one way or I could say it the other way and you know I know that one is worse than the other even if they both hit at the same thing and I think you err on that side of caution and we saw that a lot with Mr. Girl where like even if you would give a little bit of it he enforces a boundary where he's not taking any of it like when you read the chatter question or something about About the uh, cell phone thing he lost his fucking mind yeah and I think you're very aware that these personalities are kind of, you have to be more careful with some than others. Like Sneeko, I think you can do more with, but like, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely, I'm it. definitely strategic about my criticism when it comes to people that I'm trying to remain on good terms with, right? But I think that's probably true of like, that's probably like a pretty normal thing, right? I'm not gonna give the most scathing fucking, like shitting on somebody who, I'm, especially if I've got a good relationship with them, like I'm probably gonna try to be pretty measured as I respond, no? But I, yeah, I don't I'm think not I'm not like abnormal. Sure, I thought so it was I, abnormal I might, that you argued against it so hard at first. Sure, I might f- phrase it a bit differently, but I'm not like I don't think I'm ever concealing my feelings on it. Like I don't think there's anybody in my audience that thinks like I think Destiny kind of agrees with Sneeko with a lot of like the red pill shit. Like n- nobody thinks that, or like maybe Steven thinks that what Sneeko says isn't that bad. I don't think anybody thinks that. And every time I'm on these shows with them, like I might not be going like hardcore personal, but I am fighting him like pretty hardcore. Like I did on the Fresh and Fit shows, I did on the Aiden Ross stream. Um, I think I made two comments that were pretty scathing. Um, but yeah, it's not like I'm like hiding it. I'm just not like constantly shitting on but also i think another factor for that too is that like i wish that people would hit on criticisms that i think are more important this was emblemic Mm. emblemem emblemic 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 emblematic i'm sorry um in the uh in the nick fuentes stuff where like i'm not going to defend any parts of fuentes's ideology and in fact i think a lot of it is like uh ripe for criticism and i do criticize it but like when people just want to scream like he's a nazi he's a nazi he's a nazi and like pre uh, kanye west and then post his more radical like a few years ago like i don't even know if that's a good criticism like that would make me upset because it's not you're not even hitting it like the real shit i think was like my frustrated part but then a lot of people will perceive it as like defending him same thing with lav like saying like oh like lav is so stupid lav is so, like she's clearly not stupid she's quite intelligent um so like it would trigger me people criticize her in that manner but not because I like want people to be nicer, but just because I think the criticism is bad. But I think people think about that word very differently. Like uh, I think everybody has what feels like a very good definition for intelligence in their head, and mm-hmm. I feel like they're all very different. Possibly, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it's. I think like I've, it, said, I've said as much. Like I think intelligence is usually a proxy for like how many correct opinions do I perceive this person as having is like a big marker for intelligence for a lot of people. Yeah. And I think a lot of people just operate off a smell test. If you do like two or three super retarded sh- things, you know, I think they write you off. Sure, and I think she's hit possible. that limit for sure. most people. And you don't have nothing like that. Um, no, I don't know. I think there's smart people that can do dumb shit their entire lives. <laughs> I think it's possible. <laughs> but 
Yeah. I guess it's the difference between, uh, somebody brought this up before that I agree with. It's the difference between, like, wisdom and int in, like, D&D. &D. Mm. Like, I think lav is, like, pretty high intelligence, but, like, very, 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 very low wisdom. Gotcha. How do I uh, make it to where I can never see something that somebody posts in chat ever again? Is it a command? <laughs> is it slash ignore? <laughs> Okay, excellent. Let's let's get that going here. <laughs> oh, Wreckful was a hyper intelligent person. One of the few people whose intellects like fucking was slightly intimidating in real life, um, but incredibly fucking retarded. <laughs> Just like very autistic, <laughs> makes really dumb decisions. But I would never ever say like Wreckful is stupid. Um, I might say he's retarded. I might say he does stupid things, or especially socially autistic or unaware of things. But but he's very intelligent. Hmm. So who gonna burn the bridge next? Who is it? Who do you see approaching on the horizon? Um, I don't know. Uh, I'd say maybe Katie, but I don't really have like a bridge with her, so I don't know if that would even count as a bridge burning. Um, hmm. I'd say that Farha chick. <laughs> Melina don't like her. I don't like her, bro. Um, there's a yeah. Well, you know. Well, I think she's gonna be. We're gonna do content in a couple weeks, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, if I get clipped oh, anymore. There you go with defense mode again. I'm not you have a I'm tone saying, that you get into. <laughs> well, no, they're literally gonna be here for like a few days. Like we're gonna be doing shit, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, it'll yeah. Yeah, some maybe. shit's kind of wild, bro. You yeah. know, it is what it is. Uh, <laughs> It's, you know, that's life. That's just life, my friend. Life is a thing you live, you know? There's a lot of stuff that happens with it. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. What are you gonna do to make sure you don't get snaked again? Um, what do you do to make sure? You bringing an SD card with you? Oh, I don't, it's not. <laughs> Listen, this shit is all going on my stream from now on, okay? <laughs> <laughs> It ain't going down. If it goes down, it ain't going down like that again. Okay. Um, no. I think what if she took your stream and edited it in a similar way and made that video? Would that bother you or not really? Um, not as much. As long as I have the like for me, like I always feel like the context will set me free. Like more truth, more truth, more truth. That's why when people start like leaking shit, I'm like, hey, well, fuck it, let's leak everything, I guess. Um, so I wouldn't mind as much if I had like original videos to point back to. The only thing that triggers me is when I don't. So. Okay, because I think for us Farha fence sitters, if, if she does that shit again, bro, it won't matter if there's some VOD. I feel like at that point, that's getting weird. Um, and I feel like she is going to do that because that seems to be how she edits. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I, we'll see what happens, you know? <laughs> well, you said it yourself, bro. Don't go into defense mode for this I'm chick. not in a you defense said... mode. I just said we'll see what happens. I'm gonna start calling this out more, bro. I'm gonna hop out of here and be like, all right, no more defense mode. You gotta I'm tell not, people what you think. How am I defending? Think. You know it's gonna happen. I what don't, happens when it think, happens, bro? I don't think it will, but if it does, then fuck me. But we'll see, like I said, we've got, we'll, who knows, we'll see. I don't think it will, wait, though. Wait, that's wait, where wait, my wait, current, that's my current. How much current are you willing to bet on this? That it doesn't happen again? Well, what would, what would you count as it happening again? What does that mean? Oh, interesting. Now we need definitions and stuff. I think that she'll do something that makes this very unflattering of you. Is that enough? Yeah, but th my question is just like, what does that mean? Like, so for instance, let's say that we have a debate on stream. I think you would, I think you would listen to it and say, that's not the point I was making. That it will be clipped such that like it's, it's missing context for it to be understood. I don't think that'll happen. There you go. I don't think that How much? that one right there. I will bet you. No, I will bet you. I don't want to because that's yeah, exactly. Because you don't believe this. Because okay, you're a defense well, mode. Bro. Do you want to do? Do you want to do a hundred dollars? I I mean, like I'll bet you a lot on it if you want. I just don't know what your appetite is for for a bet here. We can do a hundred dollars if you oh. want. Okay. You know what? Yeah, let's do a hundred dollars. I like you and I support you and your endeavors. I'll do a hundred dollars and I'll give you five to one. Okay. So if I'm wrong, I'll give you five hundred bucks. If I'm right, you give me a hundred. Okay. Deal. Okay. Now hop on PayPal and send her money and tell her August is handling the next video. <laughs> yeah, we're going to cut a deal up for 50 bucks each, okay? Yeah. It can't be a huge enterprise. She's working off of a 40 minutes worth of memory on a fucking iPhone, right? I, wait, what do you I mean? Oh, oh, like, wait, do you, do you not believe that she lost the original footage or whatever? 
I don't know if I'm that far. That's where I don't agree. Here's, with here's her workflow. Her workflow is she's got a camera that she records stuff on. She doesn't normally record long form content. And a lot of it is like taking pictures for OnlyFans and stuff. So she's got a camera, she records stuff on. She did our interview and then she edits, I think on her phone? is how she edits stuff up for TikTok. And as she's yeah, working with the footage- Yeah, I took notes of all this. <laughs> yeah, as she's working on her shit, she's like deleting it because she needs space for other content. And I mean, like, it I, makes all, sense. Yeah, it makes sense. I, I meet people that are like this with like personal photos even, where mm -hmm. they just, oh yeah, I just hit clear space and it deletes all my old shit. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, to me that's wild. Yeah, because like I've got, but then again, I don't take pictures. So who the fuck am I to say, you know? Yeah. Does she understand the fundamental issue with the editing or did you kind of autistically focus on not saving the full footage? No, we had a huge conversation on that, yeah. The okay. two issues that came up, um, I, I don't know how much you've seen on my stream of this, but the two issues that came up were that one, she's not used to like a human being that she has any regard for being on the other end of her edits. So it'll either be like skits she's writing with an ex she used to have him do voiceovers or like fresh and fit mm -hmm. or whatever. So she's not like trying to like manage somebody else's reputation, she doesn't care. And then the second thing was she genuinely didn't really know um, the extent of like my beliefs. Um, because like the only exposure she'd ever had to me was on like a little bit of fresh and fit stuff. But then a lot of the other stuff was arguing about like the, uh, like friend zoning is emotional rape and like all this stuff. So she thought that I was a bit more like red pill on my blues than I were. So she didn't really think she was even misrepresenting me that hard. Um, but I mean like, obviously we've mm -hmm. talked about this a lot or maybe I'm just running defense, you know, who knows? Well, you are right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. We'll see. We'll see what happens, I guess. Who else have you been running defense for lately? Who else is on your short list of friends? New friends. <laughs> um, new friends. I don't know, guys. Who else? What about this I I Ayla or whatever? Oh, Ayla. She's super cool, but we don't have much crossover. We don't disagree much. Um, so when she hops on stream to chat, it's interesting, but we don't have big disagreements. I already said though, I think for her, if the bridge burns, it's gonna be because there's like some, here's what I think would happen. This is the most likely scenario. Something comes up where somebody on my subreddit makes a criticism of the way that she does like data, um, her, her studies, and then I read it and mm -hmm. I actually agree with it. I'm like, actually, this is a really good criticism that I don't think Ayla has like adequately addressed. And then once that happens, she'll get ultra triggered about my agreement of it. And then it'll be like, we'll be done. But I I think the type of person she is, is she's the type of person to like just leave quietly because she doesn't like big internet drama stuff. She's not gonna like make a ton of Twitter posts and like go to war over anything because she like is deathly afraid mm. of like that type of stuff, so. Well, you have reset the leaderboards of uh, negativity and True. given up all of your grudges because that is makes it very clear that you hold grudges, but uh, I'll move past that. Well, when I say, <laughs> When I, okay, Jesus, I don't know how many times I can clarify. Okay, when I say I'm resetting the leaderboard, what I'm saying is that if you've talked shit about me in the past, I'm not gonna bring that up anymore. So like, I just did a Kyle Kalinske video. We've had the issues in the past, but I didn't bring up any of that. I was like, okay, I'll just I'll do a clean slate. Um, same thing with Vosh, same thing with Denims. Like, I won't bring up like, oh, this guy mischaracterizes me, blah, 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 blah. When I say I don't hold a grudge, what I mean is that like, I'm not like, um, it's not like a personal emotional bother generally. Now with Vosh it might be because that shit went real far. Um, but I, I just mean like, um, I don't have like these personal, like emotionally hateful positions about people because of political disagreements. But I'm resetting like I'm resetting like all the ideas I had. It wasn't just resetting grudges. It was resetting like you had if I political think... disagreement at the end there, and that changes everything that came before. To be clear. Oh, okay. I just mean that like I'm not. You going... definitely feel all these emotions. <laughs> yeah, sure. I feel emotions. Yeah, I'm not saying I don't feel emotions, but um, okay. I will um. Oh my god! Hold on. I will, um, yeah, I reset like all my political and whatever disagreements, so yeah. So like with Merrick, I won't bring up any shit about her, um, et cetera, et cetera, we'll all be. You've been pretty chill with that Merrick lady. I've been happy to see that. <laughs> yeah, I haven't said anything about like, it Like for a while yeah. now. I almost, I think it would have been too much, but I almost yesterday said, oh shit, we gotta support Merrick on Twitter because she was getting dogged by Lav in a way that I thought was really unfair. But I think that if I would have tried to do that, I think that Merrick probably would have viewed it as being really disingenuous or would have just viewed it as me capitalizing on her problems with Lav to fight with Lav because I hate Lav, which I don't really want to give that impression. So I didn't say anything. Mm. Yeah, directing your fan base to go against people is something you say that you never do. So that would be good not to, not to do. Oh, um, but to be clear, you do that as well. I love, <laughs> this is what I miss about Stream of Bros, coming on here and telling you, sometimes you say things and you, I know that you know that it's not true, 
but you just kind of say them I, like the grudge thing yeah it's i think if you're gonna I, I go empathy know, no, no, mode like, you have just to just get like, rid of those it's, I'm, I'm, i just don't know how to i don't know how many words if the problem the frustrating thing for me is that i qualify things like a billion times over but i think i just have to keep qualifying over and over and over and over, and over again like no when it's you, when you say it, hold on when doing, you when, when i say like have a grudge there are people that will have one disagreement with me and then they hate me for the rest of their lives and it's over i don't ever do that to somebody right but if somebody like goes hard on me like really personally um i'm obviously i'm going to keep track of that or if somebody makes a lot of really bad political takes i'm going to like bring those up when I'm analyzing the political stuff in the future. But I'm never gonna have like one disagreement with somebody and then I fucking hate them, right? Otherwise I would never talk to Pisco again. I never talked to Richard Lewis again. Um, I would have dropped Mr. Girl after the Nazi thing, right? Mr. Girl and I had a huge Nazi disagreement and I still cut ties with Fuentes over him, um, over somebody on his platform, um, deplatforming Mr. Girl, right? That's what I mean when I say that. But I, but I, I feel like you're still gonna bring that in the future like, oh no, you do have grudges. But I, I, if you wanna like yep. say that a grudge, okay, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just don't know like what to, I don't know how to qualify. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what, I, what else, how I can explain that, yeah. Or like you when you say right there, like that. directing fan base towards somebody. I don't direct my fan base towards people. Um, almost nearly did. ever. <laughs> um, like you're laughing because one, you don't know what it's like to have a fan base directed at you, and two, you're what? in your mind. <laughs> In your mind, I think that you're thinking that like when I disagree with somebody and fight somebody, that's like me directing a fan base towards somebody. Like I'm pretty sure I could bully people off the internet or get people like completely and totally fucking destroyed. But I was like, listen, this guy right now, we're gonna be on every single fucking tweet re reply. We're gonna dox this motherfucker. We're gonna do this, 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 and this, and this. That, I've that. heard all this. I watched you a lot. I know. I know you could go much worse. Yeah, I, but I'm so saying I, think, I don't know what when you I think were like, describing. Yeah, just then that that definitely was that right. What the idea that you were gonna send all these people from your fan base on Twitter to like counter op this lab thing that was going on right that would be that I I'm totally not even disagree like but I mean if you want to think that is like this is like I so one issue that I ran into is that I noticed that like a lot of people's fan bases play really aggressive defense for their content creators Vosh's fan base used to be really good at this when he had one um, but so what I noticed was that like people say a lot of misinformation on the internet say a lot of dumb shit what I need to do is I need to be more proactive about putting out resources that are counter it and then having my fans like actively mm. uh, engage with it in a positive way for me um, but if you want to call that sending my fan to somebody that's fine but then you're going to have to consider that we need a whole new term for people that actually sick their fan bases on people because it could be done in a way more aggressive manner i don't think like correcting misinformation is the same as sicking your fan base on somebody yeah i, I guess what you were talking about again i'm just going to bring it to that one example it was exactly this it was telling them to go do this thing to somebody else online on twitter right for which and, way, and for which i thing? agree uh, you were saying that with this lab situation, lab was attacking somebody on Twitter and you were about to tell your people to go on there and defend her or something. Well, I wouldn't, but I, realistically, I wouldn't even say that. I would just like go over the tweets and everything on stream. Uh, like, I feel like. Oh, okay. So you're aware that that is that. Interesting. Wait, no, but I wouldn't say that is that. It can cause fans to go over, but if you give like a direct call to action, it can be way more severe. Like, yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, sure. like how rape can be different, you know, I'll use a rape sure. analogy. Rape can be a lot of very, very I'm, I'm just, I bring this up because like, I've got a, a, a decently, I have a very large fan base and I got very dedicated fans. Like if I really wanted to fuck with somebody, it, like, because every time people say I've directed hate towards them and it's like, well, what are your examples? It's like three tweets from like zero follower accounts. And it's like, bro, I could have like my orbiters yeah. attacking you if I really wanted to, right? I could be like messaging like Chud and Pisco and everything. Like guys, listen, we need to like have a response to this and like do some coordinated fucking action if I wanted to. Yeah, I, I'm not on those people's teams. I was just talking about that one particular thing. Sounds pretty much exactly like this, and that's okay. Okay, I but totally disagree, but I I guess I understand your I, statement on it. I worry sometimes you say you don't do things that, A, it's very easy to just misinterpret you and 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 read into it however. Like, you could read into anything that you do as, like, direct to the fans. So, like, it makes it hard to defend from the common angle for people that don't want to give you good faith. But B, even for me, like, I want you to be right on stuff, but if you're wrong, I'm not gonna like go out of my way to like brain fuck myself into believing it. And I struggle with some of these, like the grudge thing. Like you, I know you probably mean it in a very particular way. And if I debate you on it, you'll drill it down to some very specific thing that you don't think that you do that I can't prove that you do, so it ends. But like in general, when I think about grudges, like everybody holds grudges. Everybody feels some way about people doing stuff, but you want to signal to everybody that you're not super emotional and you don't care. And this shit doesn't stick with you the way it does with other people. And you want to differentiate yourself. And like, that's the utility of it. But the problem is it comes with this like 
unhinged thing where people will look at all these different feuds you have and immediately just on smell tests go, well, that's not true because you still talk shit about all these people that you fought with and blah, 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 you know? And so I hate seeing you do these like losing battles on yeah, stuff I like guess. that. Yeah, I guess. But then like, I, I also, but like, I, but I also catch shit on the other end too where people are like, oh, you're too forgiving of people. You've got this person who's too much. Like this person tried to fuck you over before, blah, 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 blah. So I guess it's, just, it's confusing for me or it's, it's irritating for me where people will simultaneously say that like I'm holding grudges all the time, but I'm also like too forgiving at the same time of everybody. And it's like, okay, well, which mm. one is it? Maybe it's, maybe it's all at the same time. Yeah, but that happens to everybody, every big person in history. Some people think they're a saint, and some people think they're the devil, and it's hey, just wow, it true. Was freaky, you know? So everything is everything, is what you're saying. Yeah, it's just about our bubbles. <laughs> Man, <Right>. I, I, <laughs> I, I do hope you consider in the future, like to avoid bridge burning because that's such a good bridge you liked her you want to like her like i feel like you would want that to work out but when you're emotional in the moment i don't feel like you make those like medium to long term calls to like save it and i don't know i don't know why because she's so cool like, yeah but like having like somebody saying shit like that about my private life is like fucking wild but she did it once like i was talking about how you were being so loud with the n-word at a restaurant and i didn't know that was bad <laughs> you know like i feel like we all make mistakes okay and yeah but like i feel like your characterization of that was like pretty bad but like if you were on stream saying some shit like yeah like i was with Destiny, i was really uncomfortable because i think destiny actually is really racist and like the black people there like i could tell <laughs> that he hated like if you were saying shit like that i probably would never talk to you again i'm like you're fucking retarded i don't even think you really believe this right that that would probably be my reaction to it would be my guess yeah i suppose but like i could have just snapped and i could have been like a crazy person and like tried to ruin your life or i could have fucking you know wrote, written some huge dossier on you with like my essay writing abilities like it just seems like a weird calculation to make because like you're you're doing this gamble on like the person being crazy and like flipping the fuck out and like well but they've already in my eye they've already worse. done that right well no because that reality is less bad than the reality where now they're six months interested into you with fucking schizo strength right like it, it would be way better to live in the reality where they said one thing about your wife and you guys talked about it and it probably doesn't happen again versus like, well, now this person's on a campaign of violence against you and they know that the wife thing bugs you. And so now they're digging in, you know, like it could just get so much worse. And that's that's not even considering the opportunity cost of all the good content and the friendship and like everything else you get out of somebody like Brittany. Right. Like, I, I don't I don't I don't think. um if I were to do more content with her, it would all probably revolve around those topics until the bridge like deteriorated. There's no way we could put those mm. topics aside, like because she's. Un be I I think that like something that happened with her is I implicitly. Um, hold on, real quick. For the context on that N word thing that he's talking about, another black person was making me do this. Okay, <laughs> he leaves this out when he tells a stupid making fucking story. <laughs> yeah, it was another black. Who was the? What was the name of the lady? Um, the Afro lady, Afro, Afro Sabi. Sabi. Yeah, was there? It's like saying some shit, like saying like blah blah blah, uh, like oh like I heard you do this. Well, I was like sure, and, was like, and she's like oh blah blah blah. I was like okay, I don't even remember the context of the conversation. But it's not like I was just in a, in a fucking restaurant randomly calling people the N word or saying the N word for no fucking reason. Okay, okay. Anyway, sorry. Um, There's always a reason to say the N word. Nobody's true, just Yvette. Yeah, true. <laughs> um, okay, wait. What was I? What were we just on? I don't know. I guess let you into giving it up. Um, I think you were agreeing with me. No, I wasn't. Definitely not. <laughs> because if we agreed, you'd just be yawning and uh, asking if there's uh, anything else, right? Um, me and Brittany. The conversation topic would probably always go back to that. Oh, I think that I implicitly undermined her entire existence online by challenging her on a topic that she considers herself an authority on. Um, she probably felt very strange um, that I was able to make that challenge to her and like get away with it. And so in her mind, because I implicitly undermined her entire like career, I think that her goal at that point then was to like undermine mine explicitly, right? So whereas I was saying things like, oh, like I, well, I don't even know if I explicitly said like she doesn't understand trauma, but just that I disagree with these takes or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I think that she felt the need to come and say like, oh, by the way, guys, don't ever listen to Stephen when he gives advice on any of this. He can't do it at all. Like, cause he's not even qualified to, you should never listen to him. Like, I think she wanted to come on and explicitly. And like, when she's in like that state of mind, like I, 
that point. Did she ever do that? Yes. Wait. Oh my God. You're doing the thing. Hold on. I'm sorry. One second. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not as, you know. Did you watch any of her video about me? I watched your entire thing on it. I watched you watch it, bruh. Okay. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember every fucking uh, detail. I'm not taking notes anymore. Okay. Well, like, she was literally, like, explicitly, like, writing off, like, large swaths of anything I was saying um, in order to. Uh, or she was just doing that, right? And, and at that point, it was like she was basically like attacking like a lot of my Aww. credibility in regards to stuff, which is fine because she probably yeah. felt like her credibility was attacked. But like, if that's the mind state that she's on, like, I think the impetus was on her to message me. Like, well, she, like, hold on, I, I want to clear this up because yeah, one up. particular thing you repeat a lot, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure if it happened or not, is did she say the part that's a, like therefore nobody should be taking advice for him or you shouldn't be taking his advice or like what did she say exactly that was along those lines because i feel like that's where it gets bad like um, if she, she was, was saying, just yeah fuck i just go back and look at but i'm pretty sure she was saying things that like if you have like cheated and you've never taken responsibility for it and if your relationships are all in disaster then you should have no right to give any uh advice to anybody online about like things like dating relationships it was something along those lines Oh, if you don't walk the walk and if you're a cheater and you haven't taken responsibility, blah, 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 like nobody should listen to you on these things. She was saying these things like over and over and over again, the walk, the walk, walk, the walk, walk, the walk. And she was at the same time she was doing that, she was like saying things that were just like not true. It's like, oh, he's never she admitted to this. She was saying walk the walk. What? I, I, oh, I was saying she was saying walk the walk. I think that might be where it's coming from. I would well, guess. it wasn't just that. It was a whole slew of like. <laughs> negative. Oh, it was such a such a short part of an otherwise long stream you know was yeah was it little... or was it like a pretty did it feel like a pretty big part of her constantly talking a whole bunch of shit maybe well, i'm sure it felt big to you bro but uh you know she doesn't even want to hash this stuff out you know publicly are you guys going to privately talk about it no why the fuck would i she already said it all publicly if she doesn't want to talk about it publicly then fuck it no why would i there's nothing else to hash out damn so you really not even all right, all right. I mean, you wanted to share your credit card details with her, but you won't reach out to. I said I would trust that she would never like steal from me. I don't think she would, and I still don't <laughs> think she would. I don't think she's that type of person. I don't think she's a person that ever like fucking rob me or anything. That was another fucking hilarious thing where you say something that's kind of crazy, so people interpret it every which way, and then you're shocked that they interpreted it the wrong way. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> All right. Well, it, should I keep an eye out on those things and bring them up to you? Is it entertaining or productive or uh, should I give up on that endeavor? No, whatever you want to chat about, buddy.